Page 23. Backwards examples. What comes to mind when you hear the word backwards? You've done it a bunch of times already. You're, you're going back, like you're giving an equation a formula and you're going to work backwards to figure out the unknown. And it's not quite so straightforward as the other ones. Um, I'm going to highlight that. Basically, what it's asking is find the value required to get a certain average. Some of you are going to ask me to do this for you when it's exam times. Like, Mr. Dixon, what do I need to get on the exam to get a final of this, right? Uh, so this is basically part of what, what I'm going to do, the math that I'm going to do for you. So here we go. A football team has offensive drives of 45 yards, 43 yards, 24, 21, and 44. The coach wants the team to achieve a mean. Here it is. You want the team to achieve a mean of 45 yards per drive. That is a long sentence, but it's really telling you that the average is 35 yards. That's what you want. Average is already given. You're not going to find it. You're not going to calculate it because you already know what it is asking you. So the question is, what must the length of the next offensive drive be? Right, what's the length of the next offensive drive? So to meet the goal. What is the goal? An average of 35 yards. That is the goal. So this could also, let's rephrase this. How much do I need to, I made $45 today, 43 tomorrow, 24. You made a different amount. It's like, what do I need to make on the next day to have an average of $35 per day? I know it's a low number for dollars. We're not even going to wake up for that little amount, right? But anyways, that's the same idea, okay? So you start with average is given. Is given. Therefore, this is what I call backwards. You should think we're going to go backwards here and figure that out. So remember, your average is the sum of all values divided by number of values. That is the formula in a nutshell. We already know that this this uh, average here, we already know that's 35 here. So we're going to plug that in. So it's 35 is equal to, let's do the sum here 45, 43, 24, 21, and 44. But here's the kicker we want to know. What would that other value have to be? Right, we're going to call that x, like the next drive, in order to get the 35 that we're after. This is the next drive. That is the equivalent of the next drive, the next paycheck, the next, it's the next thing you need to achieve your goal. So how many values are we adding? One, two, three, four, five, six, right? This is a placeholder. So six drives. We're going to consider six drives in this particular case. Six values that we're adding. So let's clean this up. You add that up. I can't do mental math at this time of the day. I need to make sure I get this right. 177 plus x. So I'm adding up all these numbers and plus x underneath, and sorry, 6 underneath here. And now we've got it cleaned up. What would you do here? This is algebra 101. Your ultimate goal is always to isolate the variable, right? You might have this in an intro class in, a, in college or something. Hey, solve for x. The first thing you want to do is this 6 is affecting everything here. See that? So we multiply this side by 6, and we will also multiply the other side by 6. And the reason we do that is because on this side,
we want things to cancel out. And so the math is happening on the other side. So 6 times 35 is 210. And we're left with 177 plus x. Okay, 6 is gone. Now we want to subtract 177 because it's adding to x. We're going to say, okay, we're going to subtract 177 from both sides. And voila, you're there. I have my 210 on my calculator still. And we know we're talking yards here. The next drive has to be 33 yards. You think it's uh, reasonable to expect? Is it reasonable to expect that 33-yard drive based on, historically speaking, what they've done so far? Absolutely. They've done 45, 43, 44. So 33 isn't even that big of a deal. But sometimes you do the math and it's like, let's say the, the math would have given us 60 yards. It's like, wait a minute, that's like, it hasn't happened yet. So it's a bit of a tight goal or like a lofty goal to have, right? Uh, reasonable. Reasonable goal based on previous drives. And the reason I'm, I'm, a, I'm adding this is because um, we will come uh, across instances where I asked, oh, I did that right next. Sorry, guys. This is supposed to go right here. Uh, anyways, reasonable goal based on previous drives. Okay, you want to practice this, okay, before I move on to trim the mean. Go to page 24. Guys, I'm doing the exact same thing on page 24, except for I'm giving you all the information in a table. Other than that, it's the exact same thing. So you go to 24. They give you the mean. Here it is. The mean. They're giving you how many people are taking the, uh, what is this, transit? How many people are taking transit except for you don't know what Sunday is? Okay. So this is X, put a big X here. It's unknown. So I want you to use the same steps that I just took on the previous page and figure out what must the, the number of passengers be on Sunday to get that average of 1290, okay? Give it a minute or two. You this isn't going anywhere, so keep that in mind. Uh, yeah. Is there another one? There's, I think there's another one, but when you add this all up, you get 8102, correct? Plus the next, which is Sunday. This has to be divided by seven, right? So maybe uh, I should have actually done it this way earlier. You technically take this whole thing and multiply it by seven. So you cancel out the sevens. And you do the same thing with this side, right? You multiply that whole thing by seven. And so that gives you 9,030. And this is 8,102 plus X. Take away uh, 8,102. And so X is 928, right? That's 928 passengers. Does it seem logical? 
it's Sunday, right? Most, a lot of people do not work or something, just make stuff up, something that makes sense. Uh, yes, since most people, yeah, do not work on Sundays. This decreases the number of passengers. Something like that. Can't, you can't tell me that I didn't uh, give you a bunch of these to try, right? Okay. Um, if you want to practice, I'm going to just say, if you want to do another one specifically for this, go page 25. I'm just going to put that down there. But we're going to continue. What is tomorrow? Thursday? I'm going to leave trimmed mean for tomorrow. I'm not going to quite finish trimmed mean. So, this is what I'm going to ask you to do instead. If you work, I'm fine with that. So, all the way to 28 right now. Uh, some of it is review. Page 25 to 28. I'm going to post the key. Just make sure you work. Uh, there's some questions in there with negatives. All of those things, I need you to be comfortable with that. Okay? All right.